यू नो पावर बी आई बट स्टिल यू हैव लॉट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन योर माइंड हाउ डज इट हैपन वाई इट हैपन्स हाउ कैन आई डू दैट दिस इज द सीरीज फॉर यू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑन एबस्ट्रैक्ट सी सी सीरीज एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इज How can we get a continuous line when we have two separate data set, like say actual and target? And let's say actual is ending in January and target is starting from February. I still I want a continuous line. So I'll show you on Power BI what exactly I need. So this is what the requirement is. If you can see here that this line is continuing, the actual line is continuing, and without break br breaking this line, this you can see that from February. This is January data, which is the actual, and from February the target data has started coming in. so this is what the requirement is typically what happens is these lines uh, you will see a break here now after january between january and february there would be a break here and because of that break they will not be continuous line but the requirement here is the question which you are asking time and again how can you get a continuous line so what i am going to do is i am going to show you how can you do that so for that let me start with a new file so i'll open a new file now and in that new file i'll import this data while the file is opening i'll show you the data is so basically i have actual data which is basically the uh, from january 2020 uh, till date and then i have the target data also which is basically from february so i i am opening a new file let me bring in the uh, new file now here so i got uh, this new file and in this new file i'm going to import this actual and target data so i got this actual and target data now so now this is my actual data so from january 2020 and i per month i have a one row but it is not necessary that you need to have one row you can have n number of rows because anyway we are going to create the major and we are going to create a date table to sum the data that now again i have a february data also which is available now let me load both these things now my data is getting loaded and what i would need is i need a common date table joining with these two tables so that i can plot this data together Okay, and then I need majors in the actual table and target table. Uh, so what I'm going to do from the other file, I'm going to bring in the date table. So I I need a common date table. So I have written a script here, calendar from uh, date starting from 2020 to December 2021, 23, and then I created month year and month year sort. So I copy this date table. I bring in into my this one. I click on any of the table. I'll get the table tool, and then in the table tool, I say new table. A new table is equal to date created using the calendar function. Two dates starting from twenty twenty, ending in twenty twenty three December. Month year is created uh, using the format, and month year sort is created using year multiply by hundred, adding the month. So that I need a sort table. I okay. I I am actually pasting it in the same file. Let me come to the other file. This file I need supposed to paste. Click on any of the table. New table. Date table I got. and once i got my date table what i need to do is i need to sort my month year on month year is on month year sort so i go here and i say sort it month year sort so that my sorting happens correctly now i need to create the join so let me bring in the date here now right click first of all on the date table in the left hand pane and say mark as date table mark as date table so it has been marked as a date table so we now got a date table which has been marked as a date table now go and join this here and this is going to create one to one join because we have unique dates but ideally speaking it should not happen it, the join should be from date to fact table one to many single directional join these kind of join we have to create so correct these joins again the other table also is going to do the same thing but we are going to double click on that and we are going to make it one to this time date, date is again about one to many single directional join is something we have which we are going to create so we got one to many single directional join now if i create if you see and uh, let me do one thing let me also create majors here so let me create actual actual is nothing but sum of actual actual isn't it sum of actual so actual that is my actual and so actual m let me call it actual actual major and i'm going to create one more major which is target major which is nothing but sum of target target so i got actual i got target now what i need to do is from the common date table i will bring in month year font is really small so i am going to go to the view i go to the theme 
I say customize current theme and in the current theme I'm going to increase the text size let me increase it by 5 so always prefer to change the theme instead of you know changing it for individual one now let me make it as a line visual so now I got a line visual in the line visual let me drag actual and target so I drag actual and I drag target now once I drag it you can see there is a gap now how do I overcome this gap to overcome this gap what we have to do is we actually need one continuous line we can't have it without that now so I need a major which should contain actual and target and should be called as actual only okay because the target is the second line which I'm going to show or whichever line you wanted to show let's say you can have a major which you can call target and basically you can uh, the other line you can plot is actual so here what I wanted to do is I the uh, other line I would like to keep the target line but I won't like this actual line to be actual plus target so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my actual major and I'm going to change it and I'm going to call it sum of target also okay now this is only for line visual we are doing a trick fine so what has happened now you can see that this line has joined actually if I move the target time you can see that there is a single line actually available till some actual and target and then what I do is I bring in the target line also here so the target line is now overlapping with this line and you are seeing like this is a target line one more thing which you can do is you can go here and in the lines you can go and increase the width of the line you can choose the uh, line and increase its width so you can choose the target M and in the target M you can increase the width so I am making it little bit bigger okay so now what would look like is this like a target is you know little bit darker here okay so what would happen in because of this you will feel like a single line feeling and you will also be able to show target differently as a corrected single line so whenever you need collected a single line this is how you actually going to uh, get it so go ahead and try that out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you